One more thing I want to add here, um, looking at the last thing that we did. Uh, when I got to the point of finding one of the zeros, I went directly to using uh, one of our factoring techniques here. Generally, you would use that, especially if the zeros, other zeros, aren't rational, right? If, if I had to find irrational or complex roots, I have ways of factoring this. A different way that you could find those zeros is to continue um, working with this residual and testing the other roots that we suspect. Right? So I suspect that 7 is, is a root. I could say let c equal 7, so x minus c, which is x minus 7. I'm testing to see if x minus 7 is a factor. I can use synthetic division to divide 7 into 1, 4, and negative 77. And then again, using synthetic division, this goes very quickly. 7 times 1 is 7. 4 plus, you add, multiply and add, right? So add, that's 11. 7 times 11 is 77. And that adds up to 0. And so that shows me that x minus 7 is indeed a factor. And then what's left is x plus 11. So uh, I, I showed this method here because sometimes um, when you get to this point, you can't the rest of your roots may not be rational. And you, sh you can still factor this one using either the quadratic formula uh, or other methods, uh, but, but usually if they're rational, it's, it's often quickest to just continue with the synthetic division and continue to factor out your factors um, and to get a fully factored polynomial in factored form.